years ago when the Palm Sunday tornado outbreak hit West Michigan. Six people were killed. 147 more were hurt. But if a tornado hit that same area of Kent and Ottawa counties today, more people would be in that twister's path. Storm teammates Matt Kirkwood shows us. Michigan has been in a historic lull in terms of violent tornadoes. During that lull, West Michigan's population and development has exploded. This is a very unique spot. Not only did the EF4 Palm Sunday tornado cut right through here, but also the only EF5 tornado of West Michigan history, the 1956, also came through on the same path. Between 1953 and 1977, there are 19 devastating tornadoes of EF4 and EF5 intensity in Michigan. Since 1977, there hasn't been any. It's only a matter of time. The Palm Sunday tornado that ravaged parts of Kent and Ottawa counties ultimately killed six and injured 147 more. I got the splint. Since then, urban development has flourished. Kent and Ottawa counties have seen a 41% increase in population. How would the Palm Sunday tornado impact West Michigan today, given the same path and strength? Matt Wolford, the director of the Bureau of Equalization, and his team did this study. Uh, if we extrapolate that out and we know that the growth that, that has happened in this area, we estimate that in today, about 200 people would be injured and we'd have a few more fatalities of at least seven. And with an average width along its path of 300 yards, damage would have been nearly five times more. What was 15 million uh, worth of damage along this swath in 1965 would be about $74 million worth of damage today. As Ellen alluded to yesterday, there have been significant advancements in weather technology. But in this case, it would have been balanced by the extensive growth along the tornado's path. I'm Storm Team meteorologist Matt Kirkwood. Now right now on WoodTV.com, you can see how the Palm Sunday tornado outbreak changed tornado warnings nationwide and click through a photo gallery of that damage.